Whichever city this woman goes to, she has affairs with the men there. Now she's in a new city, so can our main character Meg's husband survive her? What is the real motive behind his coming here? Or we will see all this in today's movie A Good Woman, which is a romantic drama Hollywood movie. This film comes with a twist that you cannot even imagine. Therefore, watch this video till the end. The film opens where we see some rich women badmouthing the main character Erlen. In fact, the husbands of every rich woman sitting at that table had an affair with Erlen. A man was supposed to come to meet Erlen today, but he did not come. Erlen had no money at all. As she was leaving, another waiter brought her the bill. Now he was feeling very short of money. She sold all her property and was forced to leave the city. She reached Italy by ship. In the newspaper there he read about a rich man, but that man was married. However, this made no difference to Erlen. In the next scene we see the rich man Robert and his wife Meg, who have come shopping. Robert gets a little busy, and meanwhile a woman recognizes Meg and takes him to a shop. Here a man named Darlington sees Meg for the first time. He likes Meg very much and immediately approaches her and starts flirting. He says, I want to get gloves for my sister, and you have hands like hers. Can I put the gloves on for you? Meg also agrees with Darlington. After some time, Meg's husband returns, and the woman warns Darlington not to flirt with Meg. In fact, Darlington flirted with every woman. He was middle-aged, but was not married yet. Darlington believed that he was still looking for true love. Robert and Meg had recently moved into town and were looking at different places. They liked a castle, and Robert bought it for Meg. She was very happy seeing all this. Darlington and Robert began working together in their business, becoming good friends. It was a city where everything was discussed and all the rich people knew each other. One night, at a party, Darlington sees Meg alone and approaches her and asks her for a drink, but Meg refuses. Nobody in my family drinks, she said. Meg then begins to describe her childhood. Her mother died when she was very young, and later her father. After that his aunt took care of him. Meg had an old photograph of her mother, but nothing was clearly visible in it. Darlington said after seeing her mother's picture, you are so beautiful, so I thought your mother must have been very beautiful too. Meg did not like Darlington flirting like this. Darlington said, I just want to be your friend, I don't mean any harm by any of this. Meg's birthday was approaching, so Robert went to a jewelry shop to get a gift for her. Erlen was there too. Erlen told Robert, never buy jewelry for your wife. She will think you are having an affair with someone else and if you're gifting jewelry to another woman, you should give something special. Erlen suggested a hand fan, which Robert liked very much. The shopkeeper told Robert, I don't want to sell it, but Robert bought it by paying a lot of money. On the way home, Robert gave Erlen a lift in his car. All these things were seen by his friends, and they started thinking that maybe Robert and Erlen were having an affair. Darlington also started doubting about this. Meg was very excited about her birthday gift. One day, while shopping she met Erlen, who was trying on a dress. She asked Meg, how does this dress look? The dress is a little short, Meg said. Erlen replied, that's what men like. I know my husband doesn't like all this, Meg said. Meanwhile, Robert's friends started keeping an eye on him. They saw that he had now started going to Erlen's house secretly from everyone. People started saying very bad things about Robert behind his back. One day, Darlington arrives to take Meg and Robert to lunch. Suddenly, Robert gets a call from Erlen. He said, you shouldn't call home like that. She wanted to meet Robert immediately. Robert cancelled his lunch date with Meg and Darlington and said, you two go to lunch. During lunch, Darlington notices Robert's checks in which some money was transferred in Erlen's name. These checks confirmed their affair. Meanwhile, Erlen had also started dating Tuppy, another rich man in town. One day their friends discuss that maybe something is going on between Erlen and Robert. They tell this to Robert. Then Tuppy says that Robert is just looking after his investments. There is nothing between them. Darlington brought Meg to the ocean for lunch. Meg said, we both had to go to the restaurant. Darlington says, it's such a nice open air, you won't get such a good lunch anywhere else. On the other hand, when Robert reached Erlen, Erlen's servants were also making fun of him because they knew about their affair. After a while, Robert says, Meg's just gone for lunch. She might get suspicious that I'm late. He gives Erlen some money. Erlen asked Robert, how did you two meet? Are you in love with her? Robert said, yes, I love her very much. On the way home, Meg tells Darlington, let's go to Robert's office, they'll pick us up there. When Meg got there, 
she discovered that Robert had not come to the office. Meg asked Robert, weren't you in the office? Robert said, maybe you should have come after me. Meg feels bad after being caught in this lie. After this, everyone went to watch the opera. Seeing Erlen and Tuppy talking together, people started gossiping about them. They said, what kind of woman is she? Meg also started taking interest in it. One woman said, Robert knows him, but Robert denies this and tells Meg, I only look after her investments. Erlen doesn't like seeing people like this. Now Meg was also looking at her, which made Erlen uncomfortable. He said to Tuppy, we should go somewhere else. And Tuppy agreed. Tuppy was aware of Erlen's past, but he was willing to accept her as she was. Tuppy also had two three ex-wives. Then Erlen brought him to her home. When they get home, Meg tells Robert, you shouldn't be helping Erlen. We know how she makes her money. Robert says, I'm just doing my job. Robert gives Meg her birthday gift early to cheer her up. Meg liked the gift very much. On the other hand, Erlen had brought Tuppy to her home. He felt that both of them could understand each other. Tuppy said, maybe I should marry you. Erlen says, none of my marriages ever lasted. Love slowly fades away. Tuppy said, maybe you never met the right person, that's why you feel this way. Erlen says, maybe it was my fault. Tuppy came close to her and was about to kiss her when Erlen said, I don't like cigarette smoke. Tuppy quits smoking cigarettes forever. While leaving he says, I am very rich, I will take good care of you. The next day was Meg's birthday party. Darlington had brought a very expensive gift for him. Meg says, I can't accept it. If people found out they would think there was something going on between us. Darlington says, it doesn't matter to me, we are good friends, and if you ever need any support, I will always be there for you. An employee had come to the party whose payment was pending. Meg goes to Robert's office to make her payment. There she discovers that Robert has written many checks in Erlen's name. Now she also started feeling that Robert and Erlen were having an affair. She becomes very upset by this and tells this to one of her friends. The friend says, Erlen is like that. She traps every man. To make Meg feel better, her friend takes her shopping. Meanwhile, Robert and Tuppy are playing together. Tuppy says, Erlen and I understand each other very well. Whatever relationship you have with her, but you have to fight with me to get it. Robert finds this very strange, because people were misunderstanding his and Erlen's relationship. He speaks directly to Erlen and says, I'm willing to give you all the money you want, but you have to leave this town right now. Erlen says, I need to talk to Meg. I'm her mom, I have to tell her why I left her. Robert says, it's going to upset her. He's happy, and he doesn't need all this. Erlen was blackmailing Robert with these things, and that is why Robert gave her a lot of money. In fact, there was no affair between them. A man, named Dumpy, heard all this, but he was sleeping. He asked Erlen if she was Meg's mother. Erlen goes to him and says, You've had a dream. Now go back to sleep. This time the fairy will come in the dream. There was a party going on outside, but inside Meg was very upset. She felt that something was going on between Erlen and Robert. She wears the same dress as Erlen and is exposed. Robert tries to take her away, but Meg says, I know all about you and Erlen. Don't say anything to me today. Dumpy told people at the party, Meg and Erlen look alike, but no one took him seriously. Meg and Erlen had the same dress at the party. Darlington mistakes Meg for Erlen and approaches her, saying, You look very beautiful. Darlington was very surprised to see Erlen and said, Tuppy doesn't have as much money as Robert. You should continue the affair with him. Meg was afraid to leave Robert. If Robert had married you, everything would have been fine. And then Meg will be mine. Tuppy's friends at the party explained to him that his relationship with Erlen is not right and that he should end it. But Tuppy says, I'm old now and I'm never going to find anyone else. Erlen is very beautiful. Friends said, she's only with you for your money. Tuppy said, if she wasn't beautiful, I wouldn't pay any attention to her either. Tuppy sees the relationship as a business, but he still loves Erlen very much. Meg was very upset and drank a lot of alcohol. Robert tries to stop her, but she doesn't agree. Darlington also arrived there and said, Erlen has grown very old. You are very beautiful. Darlington came over to Meg and kissed her. Upset, Meg went out. Darlington said, Robert cheated on you. Now you must leave him. I love you. We can go to any corner of the world. Robert came out looking for Meg, but Meg hid. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Tuppy approaches Erlen at the party and proposes to her. Erlen mocks him and says that she is marrying him just for the money, but then he accepts the proposal. 
Robert became even more angry after seeing Erlen at the party. He gave him more money and asked him to leave from there as soon as possible. Erlen said, I can go straight and talk to Meg and explain to her that Tuppy and I are going to get married soon. Then Meg saw these two together from outside and she became even more angry. As Erlen leaves, she decides she'll go talk to Meg after all. The door to Meg's room was open. She left a letter for Robert in which it was written that she was leaving him forever. Robert was coming up, looking for Meg. Erlen closes the door to the room causing Robert to assume that Meg is angry and is therefore not opening the door. He said, there's nothing between Erlen and me. She's too old and not that good looking. Next, Erlen came over to Tuppy and told him, keep Robert out of the house tonight. Tuppy asked, why so? Erlen said, if you want to marry me, there aren't a lot of questions you need to ask. In fact, Meg had arrived on Darlington's boat and was about to run away with him. To console her, Erlen came on the boat and said, you should go back to your husband. We are not having an affair, I'm a relative of his, and that is why he was giving me money. Your husband loves you very much. Meg couldn't believe it. Erlen said, if you leave like this, your life will become much worse. People will always be talking about you, you may not regret it now, but after 20, 30 years, you will feel very bad. You shouldn't go like this. Meg also understood this. Then Tuppy reached there with Robert and Darlington. Everyone started talking about Erlen. They were again trying to convince Tuppy not to marry this old lady. But Tuppy said, I love her so much and I'm not going to change my mind. At the same time, Robert finds the handheld fan he had given to Meg. He was confused as to how Meg's fan got here. If he found out Meg was here, the relationship would be broken forever. Erlen comes over to save Meg. This boat belongs to Darlington. So Tuppy thought that Erlen and Darlington were having an affair, and he left angrily. When Robert came home in the morning, Meg was there. Both forgave each other. During their conversation, Meg learns that Tuppy has broken up with Erlen, and she is saddened by this. Today was the last time Erlen came to see Meg. Robert spoke to Erlen and said, If you really loved Meg, you would never have left her like that. I had no other choice, Erlen said. Robert asked her to leave, but then Meg arrived. Meg said, your relationship broke up because of me. I'll tell Robert the truth. Erlen said, please don't do this. You two love each other. That's the truth. He asked Meg to get a promise. Meg said, I swear by my mom. My mom is my guardian angel. She always takes care of me. Hearing this, Erlen left from there. Robert asked, why didn't you tell him everything? Erlen said, Meg thinks of her mother like Gaudi don't want to break his trust. On her way out, Erlen returned all the money she had taken from Robert. Everything went well between Meg and Robert. When Erlen boards the plane, Tuppy is waiting for her. Tuppy said, Meg has told me everything. Erlen asked, what did he say? Tuppy said that Meg lied about everything so that he could help her save her marriage. Tuppy was now very happy with Erlen and Erlen was beginning to like him too. They will now go to a different country and start their new life. With this, the film ends. If you liked this explanation, please like and comment. We will keep coming with many more movies, so please subscribe this channel and don't forget to press the bell notification icon. We will meet soon with a new story. Till then thanks and take care.